This was going to be the first sheet in my whole entire life without a yellow stain. This quickly became the most yellow stains I've ever had on a sheet. Even little puddles formed. In the last video, I mixed plaster with glue. Before I tried that, the plaster on its own was not sticking well and it was cracking. Even the slightest touch broke it. After applying the super strong plaster, I let it dry for a whole week. I couldn't believe I got it this hard. I transported and will be finishing it in my new creative workspace. Someone in the comments recommended spackling. The art piece was getting pretty heavy, but this stuff is really light. I got from the hardware store and you could throw it around. It felt like a pillow. It's really fluffy and it's just like spreading fluff. I spent a good half hour fluffing up this piece. I was even varying the directions I was fluffing this stuff on. I let it dry for 24 hours and this is how it looked. When I was moving it, I realized it wasn't as strong as I thought it was. With a vacuum, I sucked up all the little crumbs and bits. There were hidden pebbles of plasters under the bones, under the folds. The sheet hanging off didn't get any treatment. I don't think I'll be working with just plain plaster anymore. With the medium price wood glue, I poured it into red soap solo cups. This eggnog is really thick so I'll pour in some Maj Posh. Three parts wood glue, one part Maj Posh is the formula I followed. Stir it up, then apply. I drizzled it slowly all over the face first. It was pooling over the eye so I brushed it down the face. Goal is to have an even coat everywhere. This glue has to get down in every nook and wrinkle and cranny. And in some parts the sheet was not secured to the canvas. Gave it a lift and even painted under with the glue. Even sealed up the hands that were painted with sandable primer. Now this took a long time, a whole day actually, I turned on some music and just jammed out. In total, this took about five solo cupfuls of glue. This is a very important step and I did not skip anything. I went under, over, side to side, up and down, and even poured a bunch under the bones. I bought this, I was going to do it with this clear coating resin. However, wood glue is much cheaper and I'll be painting over it anyways. I lost track of time, but after a few hours it's fully coated. It looks less nice, it looks like it's covered with sweetened condensed milk. I'm sure it'll look clear and fine when I let it dry for 24 hours. After 24 hours, it looks worse. It looks like someone who took a multivitamin urinated all over it. The yellow from the wood glue was so rich and disgusting. It looked like it got egg yoked. However, the glue did its job and it's fully hard. It is now ready for color and I'll pick up a bunch of tubes at Michael's. In my head, I already have a color palette, but this notebook is very similar to what I'm thinking. Scan the coupon got 25 bucks off. There are a sheet hanging off the sides of the canvas. Let's cut them off with a pair of scissors. Vacuum all the plaster crumbs. Secure down with high quality staples. This piece is about pain, agony, and helplessness. And I really hope the color choices I made really contrast that dark feeling. I'm gonna lay down a few coats right now and show you what I'm thinking. Blue is going to be a diagonal color, branching the both halves of the painting. It mixes in real well with the peach and the purple and the magenta. The color choices are creating an anomaly with the camera. The bones are looking green. In the beginning of the footage, they're gray. So we hit texture, size, physiology, anatomy, emotion, 3D printing, classical. Make sure you're following to see the next steps. 